Do you know the three main killer diseases in all of Africa? Do you know what kills the majority of Africans outside of wars? They are pneumonia, malaria, and HIV AIDS, ladies and gentlemen. From 2022 to 2023, approximately 597,000 malaria deaths occurred worldwide, which was similar to the years before. Now, I said 597,000 deaths worldwide, according to worldmalariareport.org. But did you know that out of that 597,000 deaths, 567,000 of those malaria deaths happen in Africa alone? Yeah. 95% of malaria deaths recorded in the world happens in Africa. And when you do your math right, ladies and gentlemen, you come to 1,554 deaths in a day in Africa from mosquito bites alone. Wars don't even kill as much in Africa. Mosquito bites are more dangerous than guns in Africa. How can our cities therefore be livable when we cannot solve a simple disease like malaria? All around the world, mosquitoes exist. And serious counties have deliberately put in the research work to neutralize them. But here in Africa, ladies and gentlemen, they continue to kill us. And what's more shocking is... The latest reports don't even put malaria at the top as the number one killer disease in Africa, ladies and gentlemen. That is pneumonia. According to UNICEF and WHO in Africa, over 700,000 children under five die every year from pneumonia, which is equivalent to around 2,000 deaths per day, out of which about 200,000 are newborns, ladies and gentlemen. And Sub-Saharan Africa has the highest pneumonia death rate globally. You don't see its impact because it kills kids more than adults. So you don't see it actually. So the question is, what problems have our leaders been solving all these years? Because these numbers have been consistent in the last decade for your information. Pneumonia is killing us. So is malaria and HIV AIDS. Millions of our people are walking around with the HIV virus, which they don't even know, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, if people cared to check for HIV like they did for malaria fever on the regular, we'll be shocked with the percentage of the population that's waiting in line to die. Due to the stigma issues associated with the virus, people who have it don't want to give off any signs of their situation. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the thing continues to spread.